Hello, hola, welcome back to Color in Canvas. Today I am going to be doing an attempt, and I say an attempt, at a pearl pour. Uh, this is a technique that I haven't really practiced. I've watched some videos, and you know, each artist does it a little bit differently. So I'm going to see what I can do today with what I have. And let's just get started and have some fun. I have a 12 by 16 canvas. I have painted the edges of the canvas with black because the black paint that's going to be going over top is extremely thin, which I will show you. It doesn't leave any trace. It just sinks right in. And when that paint goes over the edges, sometimes, you know, it, it shows. The canvas will show through. The white will even show through. So I painted the edges black just for that reason. Now the paints that we're using are all metallics. I have Decorart Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, pink tourmaline, aquamarine, sapphire, and amethyst. All of these are mixed in my cups. They are mixed one part paint to about one and a half parts Floetrol. And they are thicker because apparently the colored paint needs to be thicker than the paint that is poured on top. That is what I learned. So you can see these are a lot thicker than the black. Hopefully they are the right consistency. Again, I'm learning. And I've also mixed together a little bit of ruby, but I'm not sure if I want to use that yet. So I'm just going to pour these paints in the middle, throw the black on top, see what we can do, cross our fingers, and hope that this works out because it's an absolutely beautiful technique. There are so many artists that do it and do it very, very well. And, you know, I want one of these paintings for my wall too. So, you know, follow along with those who are good at it. And, you know, the other thing is not all ingredients are created equal. You can use the exact same paint that they're using and your Floetrol might be a little bit thinner in the bottle that you got. Or, you know, there are variables that nobody can control, including the artists in the video. You know, they're sharing with you the information that they have based on the ingredients that they have, and they're weighing it with a scale, and they're being very, very careful. But at the end of the day, the ingredients that you get at your house might be a little different. So, you know, this is why people talk about learning the consistency of the paint and things like that, because that's something that you know, you have control over your ingredients and knowing the right consistency, I'm going to pour gold over the whole thing, knowing the right consistency really does help. I don't know if I want that ruby. You know what? Let's just put it in. Let's just add some of this ruby, a little bit of ruby red. Okay. Now we have a good amount of paint here. I'm going to pour that whole cup of black. Let me move these over. We are not torching. I'm not sure if I have enough paint to be completely frank. I'm not sure if there's enough paint. So I'm going to pour a bit more of these on here. All right. Now I'm done. I'm not putting any more paint on there except for the black. So here we go. I'm going to give it another stir. Double check the consistency. It's super thin. This is my black Arteza paint. I mixed it about one part paint, two parts Floetrol, about another half part water. And then it still wasn't the right consistency, so I kept adding water until I got it as thin as I think it should be. Um, that's just something that, you know, is a little bit different. So I can't tell you exactly what was in there because I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to pour this on, and then this part happens rather quickly. Get the black paint to go over top of the colors. As I learned from the other videos, and then pour off one corner at a time. There we go. And this corner, turn it around. And we'll pour off this corner quickly, and then this corner quickly. Mm 
and hopefully just going to tilt it back and forth just a little bit you have to get that paint moving and get the black going over top of it you can see some pearls are beginning so that's rather exciting for me that there's a little bit of action already yay at least there's going to be something on it so <laughs> success success whether it looks amazing or not just the fact that there are some pearls is success to me there's this little shadow going through the middle which i really really like so i'm kind of happy that that's there even though it doesn't belong so now we wait we simply wait uh, most people will speed up their video while they're waiting because we honestly could be looking at this for half an hour before all the cells come up. So I'm just uh, waiting and there are rainbow cells. I see colors in all of these, so that's kind of exciting. There's very little here. That was the last corner, but let's just see what happens all around the other sides. Let's just wait and be patient. Let's see what becomes of it. A whole bunch obviously came off the side there, so. I might just move it around a bit more. I'm not pouring anything off. I'm just letting the paint move. Letting that black roll over top of the colors. down and see what happens. Okay, we're back. It's been exactly 13 minutes since all of this began, <laughs> since we started counting. And this is what we have so far. Um, it's not full by any stretch of the imagination, but the parts that are here are absolutely lovely. I, I love it, and I don't even mind the negative space in the middle. It's a couple of eyeballs here, a pink and a blue. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like but I believe it's going to keep developing. I don't think it's gonna fill in, but there are gonna be a few more of these popping up. But uh, you know, the amount of time that we spent, 13 minutes, and I'm just gonna set it aside and let it finish, and then after it's done and it's dry, I will show you one at the end of the video. But there, that's my attempt at a pearl pour. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with the way that it came out. You know, I've, I've tried before and it hasn't come out this good, so learning the paint consistency. Um, if you want to see somebody that's really good at this, go uh, watch Dwight Pours, Dwight Myers on YouTube. He's brilliant at this. Um, there are many artists, Melly D, um, Julie Cutts. All these people are really, really good at pearl pours. It's just not something that I'm really good at, but I'm happy to have done this one for myself because at the end of the day, you know, paint for your pleasure, paint for your enjoyment. Some people paint for stress relief, whatever it is. I just really enjoy pouring and I'm delighted to have this one to hang up in my little art studio whenever it's ready again. So anyways, thank you for watching. Check for the uh, finished one at the end of the video and please go try something new, paint something beautiful, have some fun and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.